My name is Sachi and today's story is called The Banana Tree Princess. It's a part of a book called The Bird with Golden Wings written by Sudha Murthy. Once upon a time in a kingdom there lived a mighty prince. He had returned back to his home after fighting in the war for many years. His parents were glad to have him back as he was their only child. Life went on in the kingdom until one day the prince noticed that the mangoes from the golden mango tree had gone missing. Not all of them, just a few had been stolen. He thought hard, perhaps I imagined it, and went on with his day. The next day the same thing happened and went on happening for a whole week. That night the prince decided he couldn't take it anymore. He was not imagining it. He had to catch the thief. So he lay behind the bushes and waited. At around midnight the most beautiful and fragrant perfume filled the air. Before he knew it he was asleep. In the morning, the prince woke up and realized that some mangoes had been stolen as usual. Hmm. He thought hard and finally came to the conclusion that the perfume must be a sleeping charm. All the guards and he himself had fallen asleep. That night, the prince waited with the scarf tied around his mouth and nose. That's when he saw that the most beautiful princess came out of the banana tree that was next to the mango one. She had golden hair and a beautiful smile. She was a true beauty. The prince kept on gazing at her. But then he decided that he had to find a way to teach her a lesson. So he cut down the banana tree. She took the mangoes in her golden pot and turned to return to the tree when she saw it had been cut down. The prince asked her why she had been stealing the mangoes. I know it was wrong but I ate one and then I couldn't stop coming back. They were simply delicious. I'm from another world and yet I kept coming back to this one just to taste these delicious mangoes. The prince said, you must make amends for this. You are a true beauty. Marry me and you sell as many mangoes as you want. The princess thought and then agreed on one condition. She said, that the golden pot that she held in her hands must never be opened by the prince. Then and only then would she marry him. The prince and the princess got married. The prince was thrilled and the princess soon got used to this marriage and this new world. They both started enjoying their marriage. Many, many years passed and the prince was still very curious about what was in that golden pot. One day, when the princess had gone out for some errands, he walked into her chamber and looked at the pot. She will not leave me now. We are a happy married couple and have been for many years, he thought opened the lid of the pot and found that it was empty inside. Oh, it was a joke! Oof, she'll never leave me for an empty pot. The princess was standing in the door. She had seen everything that had happened. She walked up to the prince and said, This might seem like a joke to you, but this pot and you not opening it showed me the trust in our marriage. Now the bond of trust has been broken 
and I'm going back to my own world, she said. She stepped into the pot and disappeared. The prince sat there staring at the empty pot. He felt sad and heartbroken. He had learned an important lesson, the hard way, by losing his princess.